guys what's up this is Nanya from Tech Direct Solutions and today we will learn how to perform file transfer between Windows and Mac at a speed of 100 megabytes per second. First we will need an Ethernet cable like CAT6. I have CAT5e. One end of the Ethernet cable has to be connected to the Mac and the other end needs to be connected to the Windows PC. Next step is to change certain settings on Windows PC. I will use Windows 8.1 for demonstration. Go to Network and Sharing Center, click on the Change Advanced Sharing Settings and turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing. Click on Change Adapter Settings and make sure that Wi-Fi is disabled. I have two network cards, one is labeled Local Area Connection and other is Ethernet. I will use Ethernet for demonstration. It is Local Area Connection in your case. Right click on the LAN adapter and click on Properties. Select IPv4 and add a new IP 10.0.0.1 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Click on OK. Close all the windows which are currently open. Right click on my computer, select properties. Click on advanced system settings and select remote tab. Select Allow Remote Assistance and Remote Connections to this computer. You can also select which users can access the computer remotely. Now we need to go to Windows Firewall Settings and click on Turn Windows Firewall On or Off. Switch off the firewall for private networks as well as guest or public networks. Once this is done, you have successfully modified the Windows settings and you need to turn the firewall settings back to recommended settings once you are done with this file transfer. So now let's proceed to the Mac settings. The settings on the Mac are comparatively simpler. Go to System Preferences. Click on Network. Make sure Wi-Fi is off. Click on Ethernet and configure IPv4 using Manual Option. Type in an IP address 10.0.0.2 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Now if you want to change the name of your Mac that will be visible to other users on the network click on the advanced settings of Ethernet and go to the Wins tab and over there you can type in the NetBIOS name as let's say something like MacBook Pro A906 click on OK click on apply and then a connected status will be shown which basically confirms that the Ethernet connection has been made successfully. Next, we need to go to sharing and we need to turn on file sharing and click on the options of file sharing and make sure you select share files and folders using SMB and AFP and you also select the account which you want to use to share the files. After you have done that, go to security and privacy and make sure firewall is off. So that's it. That's the settings on Mac. So now we will actually proceed with the file transfer. When we connect to our Windows PC from a Mac, it won't show any folders. So we need to share these folders first. On your Windows machine, right click on the folder you want to share. Click on properties. Now click on sharing. Then click on advanced sharing. Check mark share this folder. Click on permissions. Click on add. Type in the name of the user account, then click on check name, click on OK. Make sure you provide proper read write permissions to the user. Once this is done, go to security tab and make sure the user account you shared the folder with has the right permissions. If you want to share an entire drive, Right click and go to the drive properties. Now click on sharing. Then click on advanced sharing. Check mark share this folder. Provide a good name to your drive. Click on permissions. Click on add. Type in the name of the user account you want to share the drive with. Then click on check name. Click on OK. Make sure you provide proper read write permissions to the user. Click on OK. Now on your Mac, go to Finder Preferences, 
and make sure that the shared devices have been checked. Now click on the finder icon on dock. Then select the Windows PC. It says 9-8 in my case. Now click on connect. Check mark registered user and type in the username and password. Once this is done, you can mount the folders and transfer files. Now we will connect Windows to Mac and in order to do that we need to go to the Windows Explorer, click on Network and right click and refresh. Then select your Mac and type in the username and password and boom you get complete access to your Mac. It's time for data transfer so just connect and transfer. And that's it. That's it with this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.